Nitroselli Commerce presents Content Management, Creating and Editing Pages. Nitrocell's Content Management System, or CMS, is used to create new and modify existing pages on your web store. To begin our demonstration, we'll navigate to the editor in the Web Store Manager by hovering over the Design and Content tab and selecting Pages. Every Nitrocell store comes equipped with default static content pages, Home, About Us, and Contact Us. Additionally, your web store dynamically generates department, category, subcategory, brand, and theme pages when applicable. You may also create blogs complete with categories and articles within them. All of these pages can be customized with additional content like text and pictures, as well as embedded content like maps and videos. To demonstrate basic editing, we'll select the About Us page and begin adding content to it. The editor looks similar to a word processor consisting of formatting buttons and drop-down menus. You can view a button's function by hovering over it. First, we'll add some text. Welcome to our online store. I'd like this text to not only stand out on the page, but also stand out to search engines. So rather than just making it bold and large, I'll make it a heading. This will increase the size and let the search engines know it's important by tagging it as a heading or headline in the underlying code. There are multiple levels of headings, one being the most important, so I'll make this text Heading 1. Next, I'll add an image by simply dragging and dropping one from my computer's desktop. If you receive an error, the image is too big and should be resized before trying again. Your image cannot exceed either 1 megabyte or 2000 pixels in either width or height. Once you've added the image, it's automatically saved in the content editor. To edit it further, you can select it and then choose the image icon, or right-click on the image and select Image Properties. A dialog opens, allowing you to see the image's URL, an area to add alternative text, change the size, rotate, align, and add a caption. Moving on, I'd like to break up the page by adding some text to the left and a picture on the right. Prior to responsive web design, if you wanted to separate content like this into columns and rows, a table was recommended. Now with responsive design, tables are a liability because they don't resize and rearrange based on the width of the screen. I'll add a two-column block. You'll notice when I add the columns, they're stacked here in the editor. By default, on a wide screen, they'll display side by side. On a narrow screen, they'll be stacked on top of one another, similar to what we see here. The feature comes complete with sample guides to add an image and text to each. However, you might prefer deleting the samples before you begin. I'll add some text to the first box and an image to the second. Now we'll format our content. Like a word processor, we'll change the text size and color. To add a hyperlink, simply highlight the content and select the world and chain link icon. To link to another page, enter the link URL in the dialog box and choose how the link will open using the target dropdown under the target tab. If you need to delete the link, Highlight the content again and select the broken chain link icon. Advanced users may access and edit the HTML source code generated by the content editor by selecting the source icon. At any time, you may toggle to the source view, make edits, and toggle back to preview your work. Also, if you ever need to revert to a previously saved version of the page, need to change the page properties, deactivate the page, or simply delete it, use the Options drop down menu. Now that our page has content, Use the floppy disk icon to save the work. Below, you can see a preview. At this point, the content has only been saved to the Web Store Manager. A message now reads, the changes you've made have not been set live. Below is a preview of the page. You can now make this change live or continue editing. If you select to set live, your saved work will be visible to your customers. Before I do that though, I'd like to draw your attention to just above the preview. You can see the static URL for this page, should you need to reference it directly. I'll use it now to open the page in a new tab. Then I'll make this change live and refresh the page I just opened in a tab to reveal my new live content. Going back now to the Content Manager, we'll explore creating additional pages. The page reads, you can also add a new page, external link, or RSS feed. Select the text to proceed. 
There are a variety of page types to create, which are accessible through the drop-down menu in the dialog box. Today, there's no difference between tabbed and non-tabbed content pages. You may choose either to produce a blank content page. Blog category is used for starting blog topics, and blog article is used for adding focused blog content within a category. First, we'll create a policies page. Because payment processing companies often require publication of your privacy, shipping, and return policies, advanced users may use the SEO attribute features. Then select Save. We'll enter some quick content. Save and make live. Don't forget to use Menu Builder to provide users a path to this new page. Bear in mind, you can add content using these same steps to any of the dynamically generated pages on your web store. You'll notice there's an alternative blog tab for creating, editing, and organizing blog content. I'll create a blog category for DIY projects. And two articles, kitchen tile, and decorative mirror. You can even rearrange articles and move them to different categories. One final note of caution. You're welcome to prepare your text in an outside software or website. However, the best practice is to strip the content of any formatting before copying it into the CMS, in case it's non-conforming. One way to do that is copy-paste your content into Microsoft Notepad, then copy it from there into the CMS. You can then format it using the CMS and this will ensure that your content displays correctly across all browsers and platforms. This completes the content management tutorial. For further assistance, see the NitroCell forum or contact support through the ticket system or live chat. Thank you for watching. NitroCell eCommerce, helping you succeed online.